welcome back to the video. So as you guys know, we have been building and tearing down the Corvette. So we're putting a pause on that for right now because we're going off-road racing. We are racing the Mint 400 again. Uh, we raced it last year and it was such an amazing race. We figured why not do it again. Now, as you guys know, in 2020, before the world shut down, like I got invited to the Mint 400 with BF Goodrich as a guest. And I remember that was the first time I ever saw trophy trucks. It was like the first time I ever saw off-road racing. I told myself I would race that race eventually in like five to 10 years. Ended up happening two years after that. So that's pretty awesome. Um, and I didn't end up racing a trophy truck or anything crazy. No UTVs, no bugs. I ended up racing a limousine. You and said that wasn't crazy. That's right. <laughs> We were the first limousine to start and complete the Mint 400. We paved a new path for, you know, hoopty vehicles to be racing in this. So we're going at it again and trying to beat our record. And I am driving it with the infamous Jim York here. <laughs> and limo guy, stunt guy. So it's going to be, I don't know, it's going to be fun. We uh, broke it real bad last year and are only just now really fixing it. We have about a week left to get it wrapped, to get the front axle fixed, to kind of get it tuned. We came into so many issues last year where it took us 10 hours to go 100 miles. Yeah, so if you're averaging that out, that's 10 miles an hour through the desert uh, with the broken radiator. Again, we found that out about eight miles into the, uh, into the race that uh, it was just gonna be a long day and it was, um, but it wasn't for a lack of perse perseverance. Uh, both wanted to quit I think about halfway through that race but the best part is uh, when you're that stubborn uh, and you're working with someone that's equally as stubborn uh, no one will say anything and no one wants to be the first one to quit and so we <laughs> made it through uh, cross the finish line at 959 race cl uh, racetrack closes at 10 p.m. so uh, we're hoping to beat that like we cut that in half <laughs> be great really cool that yeah this year it's an official class with the uh, Gambler 500. Um, last year we were uh, experimental and I, the experiment worked. <laughs> it sure was an experiment. Yeah, <laughs> we got it to work. So we, there's a full class for it this year. And uh, like we've got Tate Morgan and Chuck running it with the uh, hooked across. Um, it's gonna be cool to see these other vehicles uh, and bring kind of a new life to off-road racing. It's not these, you know, multi-million dollar uh, trophy trucks and not high dollar vehicles it's uh you know it's literally just, and yeah, classified and... classified cars that uh threw some mud tires on it's threw a roll cage in it said let's go for broke let's see how far we can go yeah so we're on our way right now to pick it up we broke all sorts of things last year. We broke our spring, our shackle, we popped a tire, we broke our front axle. So we are picking it up from a shop at Aaron's. They went ahead and fixed the rear lift, leaf spring and they didn't have time to do our axle, but they had one for us. So we're going to go get that and hopefully have that fixed today or tomorrow. Then we need to wrap the car and then hope that, <laughs> I don't know, take it we, down. We'll be in Vegas this time next week. With the with the limo or not, so um, That's yeah, we've true. got a lot to do and uh, short time to get there, but uh, it's gonna be a party either way. Luckily, they make energy drinks now, <laughs> and, and uh, coffee's always good. So, who needs to sleep? We can uh, yeah, make we, this happen. We didn't sleep last time. Nope. Yeah, we towed it down. So, let's let's just go get the limo. Let's see where it's at. It's been a minute since I've seen it. We are taking the race off-road limo to Impulse Off-Road here in Murray, Utah. They have been a part of off-road racing for many, many years. They are going to have an expert set of eyes on the limo and they are also helping us out with a front axle. We have an axle, but we don't necessarily have the expertise or knowledge on a solid front axle to really prep it for an off-road race. 
So I am very excited to be dropping it off and having to take a look at it and a look at the limo and make recommendations of what else we may need because they have been doing off-road racing for many years and know exactly what they're looking at. They're experts in the field of off-road racing, but they also do anything from off-road builds, custom cages, to installing lift kits and wheels and tires. You know, they're a solid all around overall off-road shop here in Utah. So I'm really, really grateful that they are here and more than happy to be a part of the race limo build. So yeah, let's just go ahead, take it in and get started. We are beginning to wrap this monster. Doing it. Yeah, or at least trying to. I hope we can get it done in the weekend, but we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Semi-professional, for sure. Do you want to show me which one is completely bad on this side? Mm -hmm. Oh, you mean this? We're gonna get the new one in, but what was wrong with this one? Uh, oh, oh. <laughs> it's supposed to do that, right? Yeah. yeah. It just, you know, needs a little help. <laughs> Can't believe we were just ready to race on that. Yeah, I'm just gonna send it on that note. We wanna check the rear. been a long weekend we finally have the limo almost completely wrapped we're waiting on a couple decals and buttoning up the wrap here and there there are a couple spots we may need to patch but overall it was definitely a challenge and it took two 12 13 hour days and a bunch of friends but i'm super super happy that we got it done the majority of the wrap is done it looks great we have a couple of things we want to do we need to do an oil change um we need to do you know, check all the fluids, power steering, cool it. And we actually got a new set of seats that we are gonna be installing. <laughs> oh, that's funny. You just look at how glorious it is. Oh, that's great. And I'm very excited. We're coming in much more prepared this year than we were last year. So the front axle has a truss, so that's added bracing support so that we don't bend it again. They helped make sure our brackets were solid for brakes, struts, the leaf springs, and the stock system, well, not stock, the uh, shocks that were on the limo were all either seized or just done. So they helped us get fill steams on all four corners. So I, this is, it's gonna be great. Like Impulse, thank you so, so much for your expert advice. 
for your expert eyes on the limo. I feel so prepared and ready for the Mint for 100 after having you guys look at it and help us make sure it was ready to go. So yeah, we're gonna do a couple more things, make sure oil fluids are changed, everything else is good, and get some new seats installed. And then we should be ready to go, just packing up and taking it to Vegas for the Mint 400. I'm so freaking stoked. Oh, you recorded. I was like, oh, sh with my truck pulling the race limo just makes me so happy right now. <laughs> so, we finally have the off road race limo packed up, ready to go. We got Impulse off road to do some expert eyes on this. We're uh, leaving a day early to get there early to get packed up. Thank you so much for watching. In the next video, you'll see us race. <laughs> Yo, hey. are you ready to go? Ready or not? Yes. Here I come. <laughs>